The New York Jets have something very, very special with Will McDonald, and it is clear when you put the tape on. McDonald only played in 85 snaps, so there's not a whole lot of snaps over his preseason, but there is a lot of good reps on tape. There's a lot of reps in which he's getting a sack on the quarterback. He's generating pressure. He's causing havoc, starting with plays like the one you guys are about to watch here. You know, sometimes it's the little things that a guy does that over time translates into a guy having success, and it's not always about the stats. You know, coaches don't care about stats. Generally, the only people that care about stats is fans. And here's a good example of that. The tight end here has a backside block on McDonald. He needs to make sure McDonald doesn't jump to the inside or jump to the outside and blow the play up. So the tight end here is going to make contact with McDonald and he has the responsibility to hold the block and if possible, push McDonald over to the right. McDonald has the opposite block. McDonald has to push 83 backwards. And you can see he does just that and he gets off the block. And I know he doesn't make the play here, but these are the little things that this guy does on tape. This right here, being able to get your hands into a tight end and control him, push him backwards. Make sure that a wide gap does not get created towards the inside. The little things. Will McDonald has shown on tape he knows what he's doing. And I'm very, very fired up to really get into it, really overanalyze some of his snaps that I think he did a really nice job on. Let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, check this rep out. This is third and one. McDonald's going to do an absolute beautiful job blowing this entire play up. Third and one. The play gets blown up and the defense gets the stop. I mean, in a real life game, this is a forced punt situation. Of course, the Giants did go for it. They picked up the first down on fourth and one, but no one goes for it from where they're kind of at in this instance, right? So to me, this is just a really, really, really nice shot. And this is kind of what you can expect from a guy in McDonald. And he does a really nice job reading within the play. You know, sometimes you got to look for certain cues. And in this play, the cue is simple. The tight end here takes this wide right step. He starts leaning over this way. And McDonald recognizes the pattern. The tight end's trying to get to the inside here and stop McDonald. In the hopes that if the running back can't hit it to the inside, he'll bend it right back towards the left. And McDonald gets it. And he's going to take this tight end. He's going to push him back right into the running back. And this right here is as dominant as you will see. These are the type of reps that when I watch guys on tapes, these are the type of reps that really impress me. Third and one. And you get off the field here in a real life scenario. Obviously, like I mentioned, the Giants did go for it. They ended up just sneaking it and they picked up the yardage. No one's going for it for it on their own 25 yard line. right? We know realistically that's not happening. But again, really, really nice play with that being stated. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. I just want to point this play out here. This is a screen to the left. The play picks up 14 yards. But just look how fast and explosive McDonald is out of his stance. I mean, to me, the way this guy moves, the quickness, the suddenness, that shit's impressive as hell, man. I don't, I don't know how else to state it. He goes so fast in this hezzy move. You can barely see it, right? But you can definitely see that when he gets out of his stance, he's going to hezzy to the inside, right? You see it right there. That's impressive because that hezzy move is typically enough where a guy may not be able to block you. You know, number 70 here, the right tackle, should not allow McDonald anywhere near the quarterback. Like his job is just to pass protect this, really grab onto McDonald and hold the block. And look at how close the defensive end gets before the quarterback actually throws it. Keep in mind, this is not on the front side that they're running the screen, right? On the front side, you let the guy go towards the quarterback. This is the back side we're talking about. That's not what you want to have happen. But again, I just wanted to show you guys the play because you see how quick, how sudden McDonald is within his movement. And of course, as we go through the reps, you guys will see the same exact things kind of on tape as well. So I didn't want to just point that out. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this rep out. Absolutely special movement skills here by Will McDonald. Just a great job if you guys ask me. Uh, to me, this is one of those plays, right, where you really see it. You really start to recognize that this guy understands the game at a deeper level than you may realize. You know, to me, based off the run fits pre-snap, I would expect McDonald to have outside leverage. I would expect Will McDonald to be the outside containment within this play. And the fact that he jumps towards the inside here, dips the shoulder, and just absolutely gets right around this guard. All at the same time, he still technically has outside containment if he needed to. But that's just how badly he beats this guard. At the same time, he's going to get in there and he's going to blow the play up. To me, if Will McDonald doesn't make this play, this play could have popped for 10, 15, 20 yards possibly based off of 
the block here, the block here, and as long as this guy can hold this block the same exact way, and let's just say Will McDonald was over here to the outside of this guy here, and McDonald just played the outside gap, I think the play would have popped through any one of these gaps. But the fact that McDonald's sitting here to the inside, the running back has to recognize that and stay as far to the left as he can. And he ends up getting tackled by two guys right there, really. But to me, this is a beautiful, beautiful job by Will McDonald. I mean, these are the type of movement skills that not every single edge player has in the NFL. In fact, this stuff is super special. The way you can move outside back to the inside keep in mind this guy's like 6364 so he's massive he's tall he's lengthy and he's able to move like this this is absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and get to the next rep Alrighty, guys check this next rep out mcdonald does a great job once again the movement skills he's gonna hezzy to the inside he's gonna hit the outside he's gonna rip on this right tackle and you guys see that the opposing defenseman on the left side is going to end up getting the sack, but you can almost make the argument that this play is created because of McDonald's pressure. The fact that McDonald gets there so quickly, the fact that he gets his hands on the quarterback and the quarterback has to step up, to me, that's a really, really, really nice job. And again, this is this is why that movement skill that I'm talking about, you know, I showed you guys the same type of move where he has these to the inside. And you'll see it here. The hezzy to the inside, right? That fake movement with your head. The fake to the inside, the fake step. And that turns into an outside move. And in this instance, it's really a speed rush. And obviously, he hits the rip move there. That's how simple it is for a guy to win. And of course, he gets the hand on the quarterback. He's not able to actually get the sack. But again, the stats don't matter, right? Coaches don't care about the stats. The coaches care about the individual rep. The coaches are going to look at this play and say he kicked that right tackle's ass. And the play ended up being a stop. And this ended up being a win once again for the defense. All right, we saw third and one. McDonald blew it up. Now we see a third and three. McDonald blew it up again. To me, that's a really, really nice job. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and jump forward into the Jets versus Buccaneers game. As you guys know, McDonald only took 13 snaps against the Giants. So not a whole lot of snaps in that game. Let's go ahead and jump into this Bucks tape. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and jump into this next rep here. As I mentioned in the past, Will McDonald's a very smart football player. He's a very high IQ player. And I think this player right here kind of tells you guys exactly why I say that. You know, within this play, there's, there's a cue in it. If you guys read this tight end, the way he sets up to block. And McDonald actually recognizes that pretty quickly. He doesn't wait for the quarterback to actually play action here. He actually recognizes this and he's going to turn and actually go through the tight end on this one you know some guys would play this all the way down until the quarterback actually rolls over the top mcdonald's gonna actually turn and start fighting through the block before the quarterback even rolls out to me that's a good recognition of the play to be able to kind of understand what the tight end here is doing and how he's setting up to block you that's a nice job now i know he doesn't get through it as quick as fast to get a hit on the quarterback but he's right there and had this been a little bit better coverage downfield to me, this could have been a little bit more of a hit, maybe a sack, possibly, right? The quarterback obviously gets the ball out, but, I mean, McDonald's right there, right? And he gets there when, in reality, he should be nowhere near this play. The tight end should be able to shut this play down, but because McDonald recognizes this so quickly, he's able to get the hands right to the inside of that tight end and look at him create that separation right there and get off the block and get to the quarterback. That's a really, really nice, smart rep by Will McDonald. Check this play out. McDonald's going to jump here and he's going to hold on to both blocks. This is a great job because the tight end here should actually have been able to get up to the linebacker. But because of what McDonald does within this play, the linebacker is going to go free. And that's a nice shot right there. All right, the linebacker ends up going free. Now, he doesn't make the play right away, but the play is a one-yard loss. And a part of it is, is because that linebacker goes free. But the running back has to try to bounce this all the way to the outside because 46 essentially goes untouched. And again, it's McDonald, right? You guys see that he's going to get both hands on the two tight ends. He's going to grab onto both guys. And one of those guys is not able to get up to the linebacker. So great job once again. Again, stats don't matter a whole lot. I hope you guys can really start to kind of take that away from this film breakdown. Sometimes a coach will tell you why a guy with no sacks in four games or a guy with no quarterback hits in four games why sometimes it doesn't matter a whole lot, right? Because those are statistics. Those are measured by someone that has some sort of rule as to what counts and what doesn't count. To me, this is a beautiful play by the defensive lineman. 
you got a really, really nice rep here by Will McDonald. Again, when we talk about this guy and his pass rush upside, this is why we say he has major pass rush upside. It's because of plays like this. It's it's the pass rush toolbox that this guy has. You know, we've seen the Hezzy move he has, the rip, the chop arm over the top, and this is just another one in his toolbox. And it's so perfectly timed. It's done the exact way you want to do it. You know, to me, when you look at a pass rusher, when he spins, you got to get the right arm out there. You got to make contact the way he does here on the outside arm. You got to spin, use the left hand as leverage the way he does here. And that's how a real spin works. This is how the superstars in the NFL spin. The right arm has to land. The left arm, as you spin, has to be used as leverage. This is just perfect, man. It doesn't get better than that. And the thing with this play is it's so fast. Right, slowing it down is one thing, but watching it in real speed, I mean, the guy gets to the quarterback within like two and a half seconds. That's damn impressive right there, if you guys ask me. He's going to try it once again, and it works, I think, once again, right? He's right there on the quarterback again. Uh, this one's a 10-yard penalty for offensive holding. Not 100% sure exactly where the hold happens. Uh, maybe it's the left tackle. It does look like the left tackle here ends up holding the defensive end up top right there. But again, to me, this is, you know, it, you can say this is a pressure. You can say it's a quarterback hit because uh, he does get the hands onto the quarterback here. And the quarterback does throw it to the running back maybe sooner than he wants. The quarterback may have wanted to possibly throw this ball deeper and he just wasn't able to. Again, it's so fast. It's so quick. And you see it again. The right hand lands, left hand pins, and he wins. Again, to me, this is such a nice job by Will McDonald. And the fact that he has this already is Really, really impressive to me. Now, if I didn't mention it, the last two spins were on back-to-back -back plays. And here he is once again going to spin, but this time he's going to spin to the outside. And this one doesn't look as clean, right? But you can see he definitely gets a little bit of pressure in there. Again, not as clean, but keep in mind, these are back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back plays, right? The two spins happen to the inside. Third play here, spin happens to the outside. And he sets it up the same exact way, right? You can see that he's really going to turn this towards the inside. The left hand goes first. The right hand this time is trying to pin. It just doesn't work as well. But again, he gets around the block. You know, when you spin or really try to speed rush upfield, you're going to give up outside containment. And in this instance, the quarterback sees it. But you also got to keep in mind, McDonald's being double teamed here. If the slide was to the other way, or if this right guard just happened to go the opposite way, and if this was a one-on-one -on -one situation, assuming the guard's not there, he's around the tackle at this point. He would just be chasing the quarterback because this guy may have went the other way, right? So again, to me, this is still pressure. This is still a winning rep, and he still gets to the quarterback, right? So to me, this is a really, really nice job. Now, this is about five plays later, but once again, Will McDonald is going to use that spin move, and it works again, right? That's, that's impressive as hell, man. I don't know how else to describe this to you guys, but that's impressive because this move is working and he's done this to this tackle multiple times. Now, keep in mind, we skipped a couple plays, right? Because I don't want to show you guys every play. Um, but this one here, again, it, it, it's working, right? He's doing it the same exact way. The right hand lands first, then the left hand pins, and he's getting that leverage every single time. That's freaking impressive to me. Very, very, very impressive on tape. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go ahead and skip over some plays and really just show you guys like five or six more snaps. You got a really nice play. This one comes from week one against the Carolina Panthers. McDonald's going to do a great, great job on this one. You see him get right into the chest here of this tackle and absolutely bull rush him. One of the improvements I want to see from McDonald is really use more power moves. He's long, he's lengthy, he's fast as hell, very bendy, very twitchy. And that's kind of what he relies a lot to kind of get after the quarterback. So I want to see more power-based moves. And this is a great start right here. Gets right into the chest. Hand placement is perfect. And from here, he just takes this guy right back into the quarterback. That's a great rep right there. And the quarterback does get the ball out. And it is an incomplete pass. It's a really, really nice job. With that being stated, let's go ahead and jump into the next rep. So one of the things that NFL teams will do on the defensive side is they'll slant their defense fence to the inside. And they'll have the linebackers take outside leverage. And the reason why they do this is because when you have these inside zone runs, you don't always want the tackles to be able to just kind of create this wall here and have the guard easily be able to get to this guy and just kind of push him outwards. 
You want to try different things. You want to loop guys, right? And that's kind of what they're going to do in this instance, where Will McDonald is going to actually jump to the inside. And he does a really, really nice job ripping right past that, that tackle. And, of course, the running back does actually bend this back to the right side. But you can see McDonald straight up just sets the edge, right? He resets the line of scrimmage by basically jumping to the inside. Now, the defensive tackle here also does a really, really nice job. Here, he's going to basically shoot the gap. That kind of forces it as well. But if they were able to get this block properly made, it wouldn't have mattered because McDonald would have, in his own sense, reset the line of scrimmage, right? So that's a great job by Will McDonald to be able to kind of reset the line of scrimmage. It's a winning rep, if you guys ask me. Now, if you guys have watched up to this point, make sure you guys comment that below. I always appreciate anybody that gets, you know, 15 plus minutes into a film breakdown. But if you guys remember the very second play I showed you guys, it was a screen pass to the left. It was in the Giants game. And Will McDonald was actually lined up over here to the right. And he basically did the same move right here that you guys are about to watch him do. Now, this one's the sack that he ends up getting. But it's a hezzy move once again. And then he's going to basically try to dip and rip at the same time. But it works, right? This move right here is a very nice move. Because the thing with McDonald is he's so fast. The moment he gives that head move to the inside, that head fake, and he hezzies to the inside, he steps to the inside, and he goes back to the outside, well, these tackles are already kind of moving backwards. So they're going to try to lean into it a little bit because McDonald's going to give that fake. And as soon as these tackles lean and McDonald jumps back to the outside and he rips, that's very, very difficult for these guys to stop. You can see McDonald, the way he moves his shoulders, he goes to the inside and then he dips back to the outside. And from there, he's going to rip with the left arm, which is going to give him that leverage to get to the outside. And this is this is a really nice shot, man. I'm telling you guys, Will McDonald is a special football player. And his tape backs all that up. Will McDonald is going to be so good as he continues to develop. And there's no... There, I wouldn't be shocked if this guy ends up with like seven, eight, nine sacks just this season, and he ends up with a ton of sacks over the course of his career. I really, really, really like what this guy's shown so far on tape. Now, one of the things we do on this channel is look at both positive and negative reps. Now, I would never show you guys a film breakdown without showing you guys any negative rep. That was very clear. That kind of sticks out to me. Uh, but this one's a negative rep here, and this will be Will McDonald's biggest improvement that he'll have to make uh, when i say he has to get better when it comes to his power moves in the pass rush he also has to get stronger against the run and that's not a big deal right because you can always get better against the run as you get as you get stronger as you get more reps your run defense will always improve right so here's here's an improvement where he has to learn to get off the block a little bit better he has to understand his responsibility and he's trying to get over the top of the tight end here Right, what he's trying to do is he knows that this running back is going to be somewhere over here. And what he wants to do is he wants to get over the top to possibly wrap the running back up somewhere down here. Well, what he doesn't realize is when he gives up his run fit, well, in a zone run, a running back may bend it all the way back to the inside. And that's exactly what happens here. In fact, if you guys just watch this in slow motion, you really see the running back go from the front side and he really starts to cut this into all the backside gaps, eventually cutting it all the way to the backside, right? And to me, you got to do a little bit of a better job. Not a big deal, but I did want to point it out. He'll have to continue to develop this part of his game. All right, you guys, check it out. Once again, he's going to spin on this left tackle here. And once again, he's going to win. Now, obviously, when you do spin, sometimes you will give up outside containment. That's exactly what happens here. The quarterback sees it. You know, it's always interesting because with edge rushers, you always have to make your pass rush moves with the thought that a quarterback could roll out, right? You could lose containment. And here's an example of that, right? The quarterback obviously takes off running. So you got to kind of counter this a little bit. You got to know when to do it, when not to do it. Uh, second and five here, it is an incomplete pass regardless. So it's not a big deal. But again, it's a winning rep still, right? I don't care about containment. I know uh, there's moments where you really have to contain, and there's other moments when you want to just get after the quarterback, when you want to just cause disruption, because hopefully there's a defensive tackle nearby that can kind of run towards that, like you guys see here, and make sure the quarterback's not able to actually take off running. Nice rep once again. Really, really does a good job. You can see it once again, right? He's going to, uh, this time he's spinning to the inside off of the side he's on right over the left tackle so this time it's gonna be the left hand goes first as you guys see it 
and then his right arm is going to pin. As you guys see that, I guess is as great of a spin move as you guys will see. I mean, that right there is a really, really nice job. Alrighty, guys, I want to go ahead and show you guys his final play from the Panthers game. Uh, the pass rush move is a little bit different. He's going to hezzy to the inside, which we've seen before. But this time, instead of trying to rip and dip the shoulder, he's going to swipe the hand. So it's a little bit different. I do want to just show it to you guys because I, I want you guys as Jets fans to kind of understand what this guy can and can't really do. Uh, so we are seeing all these different pass rush moves. All right, again, he's going to hezzy to the inside, get to the outside, use the right hand and left hand, although the left hand ends up landing to the left side of the hand. He's still able to swipe the hands of this offense tackle. This is a great job, actually, by the offense tackle to recover. But again, it's still a pass rush move. It is still different. And I did want to just show it to you guys. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. We will be following Will McDonald as well as the New York Jets this season. We'll be doing some offensive line content, some linebackers. And a lot of content just kind of around the trenches, a lot of film breakdowns specifically. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys next time with another video.